Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how you can boot off of a USB device on your Chromebook. So the device that we'll be using here is an HP Chromebook 14G4. So yeah, that's what we're going to be using today. So, yeah, and the USB we're going to be booting off of is this computer's trying to boot off of my tiny USB right now. It's booting Windows 8. But this USB here is going to be used because we're going to be booting to Windows 10 today in this video. So what we're going to do is go to, yeah, actually before you start this video anyway, before you start the process, you need to turn on developer mode. We should start by holding escape, refresh, and power. So yeah, but since I already have developer mode turned on, it will just open up the cross tournament for me and then do shell shell works cause I turned on developer mode already so make sure you have that turned on before you start the process otherwise if you don't have that turned on type in shell will give you an error so you want to make sure developer mode is turned on on your Chrome before you do this so yeah what you go do is go to Mr. Chromebox.tech link will be in the description then you're going to go into the firmware utility script. Put that on the full screen so you can see it. And then we're going to go to... Right here, we're going to go to these commands. The one you want to copy is... Do... You want, okay, uh... You want to copy... This command over here. Yeah. Just add, add this command gives you a no EXEC error. Copy these three commands. But in this video today, we're gonna we're gonna be copying these three commands, right? You don't see the no EXEC error. So yeah. Just copy those by using CTLV. No, this only works in a personal Google account if you're logged into it. Do control V here. And then click enter. And then it would start downloading the supported files. Meaning, yeah, and after the file downloads done, you would have the ability to press Ctrl L to boot to something else. And then you're gonna click one over here. No, it's only temporary, meaning that if it meaning if the Chromebook dies, the legacy thing will go back to zero. So you wanna make sure that you're charging your laptop at least daily or something. So yeah, click one over here and press enter. And then click no. Then yeah, then do the end option here. Unless you have a USB put in then yeah, that's what all really matters. Star Wars the firmware right now as you can see. As you can see, it has even started updated. So now we're going to restart the Chromebook. Do all to restart. It will reboot the Chromebook. Plug in your USB that you're going to use to boot. If it's installation me, it just do what it tells you to do. Do Control L. Oh. Okay, there you go. I did that. Oh, uh, I guess you weren't supposed to do that, but however, if you're having problems, just turn off the Chromebook and then turn it on again, and then press Ctrl L. There you go, this menu should pop up here. You are plus two, and then it will start booting up the USB device. There you go, it will start loading to Windows 10. However, you will need a keyboard, external keyboard and mouse. So why not go plug those in? Go plug in these dongle thingies that power my external mouse and keyboard. You don't have to use these, you can always use a wild mouse and keyboard. Just for a small note. Now I'm gonna bring over my external mouse and keyboard. There you go, there's my external mouse and keyboard. And using Windows to go, they will say in game devices ready. It won't do the whole thing unless you always set up Windows 10, but you 
then all you really need to worry about is drivers loading and stuff. So yeah, there you go. It will say all that. And now after that screen, you should just boot into your main OS. So yeah, there you go. You can see the trackpad won't work and the keyboard won't work. So yeah, that's why I said to use an external mouse and keyboard for this process. You can see the keyboard doesn't work either. I can't type in my password. So yeah. You can see why I was trying to log in. There you go, you have Windows 10 or your Chromebook. Except we're using Windows to go of all things. It works pretty fast, if I'm gonna be honest. And yeah, it's not a touch screen, so obviously don't think that I caused it by using touch, because really it's not a touch screen. You see, if I type any of these things, it won't work. Now all your drives are installed. Yeah, I think trying to install them via a driver pack or something, make sure you have that in Windows to go up as so you will need to install drivers. So yeah, just do driver pack here, driver pack, right there. Just do yes right there and there you go, it will load driver pack. There you go, that's how you pretty much get the USB boot availability on your Chromebook without even using root or something. If you like to make sure to subscribe with the notifications turned on, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.